Watch Harry and Hugo. And of course, my name is Trace, and we're here to rock. We're here to party, and we are the budget knockoff version of LMFAO. Of course, now ready to kick things off <laughs> into the right direction on the map of Overpass will be FaZe Clan taking on Godsent. And no waiting around either. We're right into the action. We're right into the pistol. God sent fast playing towards the B bomb site. They're going to get slaughtered. Cold Zero is here. His entire team around him. And God sent can't even get past the tunnel. Four from Cold Zero. And well, that's certainly a way to start the game. Maybe not for God sent, but FaZe, they are going to be happy about that one. Yes, they are, aren't they, Harry Russell? Yes, indeed, Trace. Thank you very much for choosing then to ask me a question as I take a <laughs> sip from my water bottle. Um, yeah, you know, we really are in a bit of a time machine because Cold Terra <laughs> is looking in incredible form at the minute for this phase squad. And that's just a relief to see, yeah. right? Like, with all these legends in one place, you hope that some of them deliver some legendary performances, and yeah. Cold has really been a guy to keep an eye on here at the Road to Rio. And these are really those moments that I just don't think anyone's ever going to forget. No, not at all. Especially ones where Harry continues to wear his mullet throughout the cast, throughout the map. This He's man's dedicated. He's been wearing it in the kitchen. I caught him in there I've this morning. I sewed it into my scalp, <laughs> and now it is just a part of me. And honestly, I'm pretty happy. I never have to cut my hair again, or at least... Well, what it about the hair that grows longer, underneath actually. it? Yeah, I haven't thought this one through at all. <laughs> Don't I, worry, I we'll to get the scissors. To, to a doctor's, get it removed. And speaking of removing scalps, that is exactly what Brokey is doing here inside the A bomb site. So maybe I could get his number and fix oh, yeah. this whole problem. That wasn't me trying to flirt with Brokey. That was that's what it sounded like, like well, now. For that's not quite what I was going for. Phase two and zero up. They get that conversion. And now the buy is back on the cards for God's sake. And here I love, we sit. I love, I love the high pitchedness that Harry gets to when he's defensive. Well, it's saying. great, you know. It's yeah, like it, only, only certain animals can hear that that frequency <laughs> that he's broadcasting. No, in. I'm not saying. Ooh, one of the Molotovs misses here for Phase Clan, which was going to land in front of the playground or inside of the entrance. Rather, the grenade is good. Ooh, well, oh, not really. Looked like it had potential. Madden will survive just fine. And Godson begins to move out through the playground here. Faye's already putting pressure in middle. He gets smoked off in the front of toilets, only being forced to fight towards long, but they can, of course, wait that out and backstab Godson once they get past, if they get past, because Brokey's still waiting here with a double man setup. Two Godson flashes fight. Do they just go and try as a double peek? It's a trade attempt, but the bomb has been dropped and no one even swings off the back of that kill. He's certainly hoping for a trade, but that's a Nico to get aggressive on the back of the A site and drop two more. Godson hesitating and they are going to pay the price. Yeah, now just Zen and Stiko left standing in the blink of an eye. They're going to try and join up over here in middle, but be sure to bear in mind that Brokey has wrapped all the way around through mid and catches Stiko very much unaware on this wraparound from behind. That's now him upgraded as well, and this is where things could get even worse. It's actually Olaf, by the way, to get that kill. I said Brokey, meant Olaf. Numbers one and five, very, very different, but I did not make that distinction. And Zen now... He could be in a 1v1, he could be in a 1v5. I couldn't tell you, apparently, but it looks like the latter. He's going to just look to hold on to this AK, gives up the bomb, runs away. And that's really all you could expect from him in this situation. Oh, no. Now, are they going to let him get away? That's the question on everyone's mind. This is a good play, though. Instead of going T-spawn, which is where Olaf was going to cut him off, he actually pushes B. He knows that because FaZe have the bomb on A, they're not going to be playing inside of the site. And he is correct in that assumption. Olaf's wrap round will find nothing. And face clan. Well, they'll at least get three rounds. That's really what they're waiting for as they absolutely make quick work of Godsent on the rifle round. We still have bonus guns in play for FaZe and they have no issue getting upgrades onto AKs. We've got four of them in play in round number four. And that's just for the CT side. Five if you include Zen, but what can his team even have around this? They could consider a force by here to try and level out their money, but we're not going to be seeing AKs behind this hero weapon. It's more about Deegs and armor. Should be FaZe's chance to get up to a 4-0 lead. A 
And now attempting to take this short control over towards B, our godsend. Now, FaZe, with a lot of players here over towards the B bomb site. This is very heavily, well, I say heavily stacked. Three players at B, pretty standard, but... This is something that caught God sent off guard the last time they tried to go towards this bomb site. It did not end well for them. And they've not really thrown much resistance up towards A. We see Madden now trying to do exactly that. And he's hoping he can pull a rotation away from this B bomb site before the rest of Godsent commit. And if you look, you'll just see that Nico has just rotated up towards A. So Madden very much serving his purpose in this round. Now, is it going to be enough for Godsent to find anything inside of the B bomb site? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. Olaf still here. Madden gets dropped up at the A site, and that allows Nico to come back down towards B. So they had a timing where there were only two players here inside of the site, but now it's back to Old Faithful, back to the three-man hole. And already, the cold has torn them apart. Only Zen left standing, and he does Ooh. manage to overcome the defense here, almost single-handedly, dealing with cold and Olaf. But a 1v2 still to find for Zen. Rain and Brokey on the other side. And he will at least get this bomb planted. But whether or not he lives to tell the tale, he does not. Rain is able to deal with him. And FaZe, they find themselves a fourth on the board. Yeah, Zen's trying to plant there for, you know, an open position. But while it's open to the CT spawn, it's actually closed off for short. And I think he's fearing someone's going to come from that spot to flank him as he plants the bomb. So no time, no room really to cross towards short to check that. He just had to gamble. And FaZe are both able to spray him down from the CT spawn. He can't get out of the site. 4-0 lead. Good to see uh, Zen at least trading his way into B, right? When you have a 1 AK in a round where you've got pistols, you don't want to put that AK at the front. You don't want to put that AK at the back. If they're at the front, they're probably going to die immediately. If they're at the back, well, they're going to come into a situation that's too late for them to clutch. And while that still was for Zen, he's able to get two kills coming in second, trading his teammates, and at least getting a bomb plant, meaning Godson have money for the fifth round. Buy is in, AWP is out. We do have one on Brokey as well to meet Michael Ailey. Brokey is yet to die in this game. Will Michael Ailey be the solution here for Godsend? Sneeko smoked off the bottom of Con. This allows him to cross back up, but FaZe are going to do the same. What, Nico? <laughs> just tapping. No, that's not fair. That was just two bullets through the wall as well. Like, it's like he knew, but he didn't know. Oh. And that's what makes it so impressive. Dear, oh dear. That might stall FaZe's rotation. They were going to move a man back up off the back of that connector smoke coming down. And they actually still will late. Nico begins to sh uh, shift, shuffle. Those are the two words I was trying to say at the Every same time. Every day I'm shuff for, for that one. Yeah, that's, okay. that's you know, that's a good good reference, Trace. Mm, well, back lately, trying to get something going here with AWP up towards the A site. The jump site, uh, the, excuse me, the jump peak does leave rain exposed, but he's wisened up. So you know what? Probably not going to be doing that one again. Yeah, this uh, sweaty little crossfire. And, and FaZe have no reason to believe it's B. It's been silent since that kill on to Stiko. So FaZe know this is coming. Oh, dear. And also, Olaf has just pushed through Monster. Now, that leads to a quick rotation from Cold Zera up towards the A-bomb site. That puts four uh -oh. players here for FaZe, meaning that now, as this site take comes in, they actually have the man advantage in the A-bomb site. This is not a good situation Oof. for Godsent, and they are learning that the hard way. It is a complete and utter shutdown, a flawless round from FaZe. And my word, they are looking to impress us today, are the FaZe Clan yeah. squad. That set up inside of the site, everything about it was pretty gross, and Godsent, none the wiser. <laughs> cool, I guess. You know, I mean, <laughs> whatever, Reported, really. dude. Yeah. Reported. What Straight do you up. even do against that? Like, well, I mean, you can't do anything if, against If Godsend keep playing like this, they're going to have real problems because FaZe aren't falling for, like, you know, slow rounds where Godsend take 30, 40 seconds to hit a site. FaZe are going to read. They're going to aggress. They're going to get information, and they're going to gamble stack off the back of that. So they've been doing it every round. FaZe have been surrounding Godsend in these, uh, you know, full-on buy rounds. So... Godsend either need to be quicker or they need to leave lurking players to keep on to keep phase at the bomb sites to keep fakes uh, available. I think a team, you know, a while ago now was the old HR roster um, that, that always impressed me on overpass because they would just every time they t started around, they would take me short and they would leave dead Fox there and he would stay there the entire round in the same corner uh, waiting for re-aggression or giving information to Angel on players rotating up or down or making the call that guys, A, looks 
good, but I can hear them leaving B. We should rotate down connector in the last 20 seconds and win. And, and I think HR was such an exciting overpass team because of Dead Fox's role in that in that team at the time. So yeah, I, I'd like to see Godsend try and use something like that, try and have more Lurk players, or do what they're doing now and speed up the pace. Now, still it's a stack for FaZe. Uh, that's the unfortunate part. Godsend are walking into a lot of bodies, but they've also got a lot of guns. There yeah, they do. Rain. Ooh. Just didn't know any better. Brokey does, though. Brokey knows all of the angs. He's going to be hitting all the shots and ultimately defending off this A site. Alongside that, a phase clan who put a sixth on the board. Now, God sent financial woes in the near future. This is a scary looking phase squad, man. It's not every day that you get in and it feels like you have everyone showing up at the same time for phase, right? I think that's always been like one of the problems is that, you know, even though we've had like big performances from, uh, really I'm kind of looking at the people like Nico and Rain, right? Being very, very consistent. It feels like as of late, Cold's consistency has gone up massively. A little off yeah. as well has looked way more comfortable can, since kind of swapping these roles around with Brokey. And everything's starting to fall into place, it finally feels like for this phase squad. A squad that, you know, no one's really doubted that these guys can reach a high skill ceiling just because of the names that you have in this organization. But we're really starting to see that. And this uh, this matchup in particular, they've just demonstrated some excellence thus far. And it might be about to get even sweeter as it's only pistols here for Godsend. The odds are a seventh round on the horizon for FaZe. And Godsend not really looking up to the task of beating them right now. These rounds have been so quick, so clean. And it's another one of these rounds where they try and send a guy up towards A in the hope that that baits a rotation out from phase. Now, Cold there was doing the classic of, you know, pre-aiming to take the tunnel's peak. Didn't realize that they'd gotten so close. And so he gets caught. Nico is now alone Ooh. at the B-bomb site. And Stiko does manage to best him in the head-to-head. -head. So now Brokey and Rain over in heaven on for the retake. Oh, dear. That's awkward. That is very, very awkward. But luckily enough, Stiko had plenty of time. Rain did not know he was down below. Brokey now left in this clutch. Now one V2 flashing himself to take this peek down into pit. Crystal what? getting caught out in the bomb site. Bit of a grave error for him, and that's where he finds himself now. Stiko, 1v1, has retrieved the bomb at the very, very least. And Brokey is paranoid about a man flanking up from behind. Now that the bomb goes down, he knows that Stiko is somewhere inside of this site. You can wallbang this plant box. And so Stiko's not fully safe sticking around here. Brokey tries to bait that he's dropped down. Now actually Ooh. drops. Miss shot from Stiko, but that gives Brokey... Or rather, it, miss shot from Brokey gives Stiko a moment to reposition over here towards the short side. And he now, Brokey, know. this is very hard for him. How on earth is he going to manage this? He's trying to find the uh, engagement. Don't think he realizes he yeah. crossed over towards short side. And <gasps> oh, oh, no! Baby. Not like this! Easy does it, says Brokey. Oh, he's, he's still 12 and 0. Even, yeah, he hasn't even died yet in this game. Bro. But Brokey didn't realize when he takes that shot, when he drops out of heaven, he thinks Stiko's just staying behind the box. Stiko took that opportunity, as you said, to escape short. It's a great play for Stiko. He's stalling out that one on one as long as he can with the bomb in his favor. And Brokey just goes, screw it. He's not where I thought he was. Let's just stick the bomb. Why not? I'm 12 and 0. And he wins the round. Stiko with missing knives. Oh, dear. Looking looking back as well, watching that, that round back for Stiko must be harrowing, knowing how close you were. 7-0, FaZe. They do not want to stop. They do not want to slow down. They want everything. God sent. Continuing to buy, continuing to get these bomb parts that enable said investments. Michael Ellie's got the entry on B. This time, FaZe have set up aggressive towards A with three men early, and they've pushed uh, Playground. They've pushed on a flank. Rain's coming in on the back line. Nico's got a wall bang shot through a, a, a smoke. Ooh. I don't even know. And he will get traded, punished as a result. Crystal's trying to take control, but he didn't realize Olaf was holding graffiti the entire time. All the time, we're waiting for Rain on the back line, and he might get caught out after all this flanking. He does react. Madden was low, and Rain deals with him. Steve Nico now in a clutch. He's got the drop on rain. He's got the element of surprise and a nade in his hand. Good timing on the peak. Stiko, one on two now. He couldn't do it with the deeg. Is the M4 any better? He's walked himself out the monster tunnel. Brokey still yet to die in this game. Is trained on him with the crosshairs. There's the shot. Miss shot for Brokey. Oh. It's going to give Stiko the opportunity to go for the defuser, but he misses that one as well. FaZe Clan still eight and zero. Brokey yet to die in this half is starting to come to a close.
ish. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for God's sake, right? Like, they're getting blown out of the water right now. This is an excellent you know, showing from FaZe Clan in this series, considering especially that it's God's sake's map pick. And the fact that Brokey can miss a shot there and Olaf can get off the defuse and find the kill quickly. He has a millisecond to react. He hits it. He gets a three piece in that round. Good stuff for Olaf. Phase up eight and zero. Godsend. Yeah, again, no economical troubles, no issues. They've had buys every round because of these bomb plants and the loss bonus, but you've got to eventually convert one, surely. Eventually, you'd think. Yeah, I mean, you know, oh, like, no, 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 no. Oh, no. not again, Nico. I don't like that. I don't like seeing him spam through the walls. It puts me on edge for everyone that might find themselves on the other side. Stiko's not to know it, but he just dodged death by a matter of pixels in that round. Now, in this one, it's a bit of an interesting one. This double toilet setup between Rain and Brokey does run the risk of letting players slip by over towards short side and Rain tries to wrap around onto them now. He gets dropped and dealt with. In the meantime, Cold Air is doubled up outside of Monster and Brokey now might go unaccounted for oh, here dear. in the long side of things. As they've already dealt with Rain in the toilets, this does allow them a free pathway up through short, but Brokey is still coming in on this wrap and he is a man who is yet to die in this game. So there's always a chance that it goes wrong here for God's sake and that looks to be what Nico was trying to do over at the bomb site. Oh, Brokey, there's there another is. 13 and 0. Come on, 14 and 0. Makaleli not hitting that one anytime soon. Not even grabbing and the bomb. Oh, it's, it's oh, shots Mac coming. He gets shot at from Catwalk over there towards the connector side, but ultimately it is a ninth round. Unanswered. Godsend. Seemingly don't have one. Yeah, and no bomb plant either. It's getting worse and worse by, uh, by each round. At least, you know, there's money to drop over weapons here, but... Dear, oh dear, FaZe have no issue, and Godsend, I, I, like, I don't even know what to say about this. This is just a great game from FaZe, but Godsend have had no answers. We'll see what the adjustment is in this round for Godsend. Yeah. Going back towards middle for a change. These Molotovs landing for FaZe. Actually, only one of them connects this time, and Madden won't cross through the playground. He didn't beat that first Molotov. Nico actually gets hit quite ha uh, heavily as well. Grenades outside of the B-bomb site do good damage. Brokey's going to get pushed back as well. He doesn't want to lose his KD now. You know, you come this far. Let's at least go flawless in the half. Very small odds for that, but Brokey will not refrain from putting himself on the front lines here. He still does have that AWP. Rain's going to get chased down here in the bathroom. Nice and another one for Brokey. Yeah, just baited in. Just, just, you know, by design. Rain runs away. Crystal tries to take the kill. Uh, boom, the AWP is in play. Nico's now got one of his own as well. He's been tagged up, so gifted it over by Brokey. Cold drops a B player. Zen has to push through the Molotov. He's going to get hurt here. The Shadow gives it away, but he lines up a double kill. Cold and Olaf lining up in the B bomb site. Godson might have just found their first. Yeah, still a three on three. FaZe are definitely going to be curious about this, but a lot of them retaking this bomb site falls on how these first couple of engagements go. That flash is great to get Makalele off of the angle and to allow this player in con a bit more freedom. Of course, Ray now looking to come in from the short side. Makalele Ooh. swinging on out, does deal with Nico, but Brokey Ooh. can't seem to catch a bullet today. He's actually going to run away with this AWP. Not only saving the AWP, but keeping his flawless scoreline going. 14-0, and 0, and he doesn't want that to change anytime soon. God sent, though, they are going to find their first here on the board, and it can sometimes be the case that breaking the streak, getting that first one on there, oh, it's getting better for Brokey. I thought, you know, maybe it gets worse. Maybe he gets killed. Maybe he gets his first death, but nope. Continuing 14 and zero. Imagine how that would feel as well if you're Brokey, right? You're in a team with all these legends and you just have a casual game where you go like 25 and zero alongside them. Yeah, I mean, let's see how long he holds it, right? As Godsend start to pick up rounds, sometimes it, it only takes one and you can find, that can be invigorating. You can find, you know, a lot of uh, solace in that first round. And Godsend, they could have a little bit more up their sleeve. This is their map pick after all. We're expecting a little bit more than this. Set up outside of B, again, a connector. And Michael Ellie mollied off. They do smoke it and he'll push right through it with no fear. The wallbang won't connect, but it will be very clear that Godsend have taken B short. 
No one fighting, no one up for this AWP as FaZe have sat pretty passive inside of B. Not on A though, Rain again in this aggressive position could try and flank Godsend here on this B play. If FaZe make the call that, okay, mid's been clear the entire round and Godsend haven't come up connector, let's see this aggression from Rain, but it might be too late. He's lost two teammates inside of the site. Cold Zero has to hold uh, shallow as well. He has to go passive as Godsend are starting to push into B. Good utility as well. Molotov's completely cut off potential rotators and FaZe might have to give up another round here. Reigns come down connector. He's not going to find a whole lot of solace from this position. Only Crystal up on the chopping block on short. Yeah, Cold Zero is basically trapped here at Graffiti for the time being. I don't think that they know he's there. At least if they do, they've kind of written him off in this round. Either way, yeah. Doesn't look like a round that FaZe Clan will be winning. And for Young Brokey, he remains in the AWP. So the old bait and switch here in Con. Basically. Oh. Careful. Careful. Yeah, you don't want to spam that versus Rain Crystal. That just ain't going to work. Will be around for Godsend, though. They're going to be happy with that one. Cold actually slips out in the last few seconds. And Siku is coming in on Connector, but shouldn't find a kill here. Either way, back to back for Godsend. Two on the T side. At least coming alive when it matters. And so now this B bomb site, you know, has its couple of vulnerabilities in these last few rounds. I wonder if we just see Godsend try and exploit that a few more times before this half draws to a close. On control taken in this round, and FaZe not really showing much love towards the A bomb site right now, have Rain locking it down solo. A four man stack down here towards yeah. B. This makes and a lot of sense considering how much Rain has been pushing, right? Like how much playground control he gets, how slow Godsend are to take the A site. And so FaZe are just gambling. And, and this is an easy gamble to make because Rain has so much information from this position because he's jumping on the APC and the dice as well. So he can see everything. He knows the Godsend at least aren't close. And FaZe are trying to figure out where they are. It's a very passive B-short setup. Olaf goes aggressive. He's got one, but it's a bait. Steeko opens the door to Ooh. trade and Godsend showed two more players down on this lower site. Ah. Broke even getting warbacked. He can't catch a break. He's down to 12. Godsend setting up for the B-play and it might be easier than they imagined. Brokey went from not getting hit at all to now getting hit by everything in this <laughs> round, right? But he's somehow still alive. 12 points of health. Is he about to have his first death here and now? Crystal still up over at the A bomb site, and that's going to leave options open, a godsend for him to come in late to cut off these rotations. Brokey is trying to run for the hills, but he's going to need some help from Nico. Over a Graffiti, Crystal, still basically out of this round, finally arrives at Connector and is now in a position to help out. And Brokey, poor guy, might be about to get his first death if he's not too careful here. Still toying with the idea of going for this, our phase. They're trying to make it look like they're not. I love it, but God said, not moving away, not falling prey to leaving this bomb site. However, man advantage Ooh. now with FaZe. They tap the bomb. Brokey lands the shot to Crystal oh. and the follow-up to Makalele. 12 HP, and he's not ready to go down yet. 17 and 0 on Brokey. And my word, FaZe continuing to find success. Brokey is on a tear. This is gross. Yeah, this that, is gross. That was so well played by FaZe to, to go quiet and to make Godsend think they weren't going. But but of course, Godsend, they're in such a, an awkward position there where they have three, three, three on three and no utility. They have to just take dry fights. They don't know that FaZe are, are sticking or faking and they have to face short even though Brokey's on, on it with the orb. Not really a lot of options there for Godsend as they get stuck in the post plant. If you had flashes there, you could flash yourself into fights. You could offset that AWP. And you could likely win the round just with just one bit of utility, but that one bit of utility isn't there for Godson. And FaZe are up to double digits, 10-2. Michael A's had a couple of shots of this AWP when given them. But what will he take from this round as FaZe don't really offer him much? Olaf is playing on the barrels. That's really the only position up for grabs. Stiko getting wall banged by Nico through a different position. 
it almost feels, you know, necessary at this point to have that fight go down. It's gonna stay away from that one. God sent on the B site again. It's been favorable for them in the past. Michael Early is looking for the pick that could send them into it. Meanwhile, again, we have this lurk from Crystal. Even a single kill could draw a rotation that offers up a, a more a takeable B site. I think he's heard the footsteps. He should know the rain is close, but just not seeing anything, not knowing how close rain really is with a nade in his hand. This could get scary for rain. No one's watching his back either. He's just kind of gambling with the idea of, of short being open and toilets not being taken. 30 seconds as that smoke comes down. Crystal is calling for rotations. God Center here, but so are FaZe Clan. They put three up on this top site. They're going to hit a utility rain ready. Brokey oh, firing yeah. off. Still yet to die. Oh. He's finally gone. He's out of here. Will this be the round that God Center can put on the board? Surely you think so. Rain's got caught with a flashbang. Shot from the sidelines. They don't know there's a third player here, though. And Nico, 10 seconds. He's stalling it. He's going to win the round. All on his own. Nico with three. Not the fourth, but it doesn't matter. There's no time for Madden. It's phase up to 11. Ah, oh, that is gut-wrenching how that round falls apart for God's sake. Stellar stuff from Nico, right? The trigger discipline. Everything about that is perfect. He even, like, allows the, the, the max amount of time for that bomb to almost get planted before finding the kill, knowing that it just hamstrings Godsend that much more, you know? Even if Nico, from that position, was only able to get, like, one or two instead of the three that he goes on to get here, that would have still likely been enough to pick the round up for the FaZe Clan side. So stellar stuff from him. Feels bad, man, for Brokey yeah. as he gets his first death in in this round feels bad for madden who hits two excellent shots in the one on three but, yeah, but just simply doesn't have cannot time. win via time that third player in the bank just isn't peaking and he didn't have time for the plant so nothing you can do there if you're madden nice kills it makes he makes it expensive for phase but really money isn't a worry at this point they got rounds to play with rounds for days and another advantage for rain is he finds steeker coming up the connector poor steeker this role has not been fun for him in the game Getting wall banged by Nico, getting caught out top gone by uh, con by Rain. Everywhere he goes, there is pain. And God sent. Do they have any paracetamol for this round? Because a man down in it and set towards A once again. We do have this setup that I wanted from Godsend, which is a solo B player. Zen is there. He's holding for aggression. He can get so much info. B players are not going to always be thinking about the noise that they make, but any footsteps, anything can give away information to Zen that can allow him for, to call for a B rotate. That's a big kill. Michael Eli flicking onto Nico, who jumps, and there it is. As Olaf shifts, as he adjusts on the B bomb site because of that kill on A, he gets caught by Zen. Cole's going to try and aggress to trade this frag, but he doesn't know that Zen is wrapping in range is letting them past him. This round is incredible. This is a calamity for Godsend, and they're about to get caught out. Rain, ready for the bomb in the toilet. He drops it as well. FaZe taking every single kill they can. Zen is even found down on B as well. They just can't catch a break. Yeah, a Godsend, right? Like, this is now the, the second time that they've been betrayed in a very, very big way through just not clearing these angles, right? Something that this very, very methodical team are normally so great at. You know, just the very basics, yeah. right? Like, not leaving any stone unturned. That round there, Rain lets them past and gets away with way more than he should have done. And that was also their undoing with Nico. Just a round ago. This has been a masterclass for FaZe, right? Like, Godsend have been just made uncomfortable at every turn. Like, every commitment Godsend have gone for, they've either walked into a stack or they've been, like, walking into a round where they, they're getting flanked or, or something of the sort. They just don't have any comfortable rounds to their name, and this one is no exception. Number 15, a smoke and a Molotov. Oh, by the way, there's a decoy. That's pretty good. Not yeah, really. Should go a long way. Yeah, this isn't what you want. Now, this is an ideal for Godsent. They found themselves in a world of trouble here at the end of this first half. And Nico, he finds himself in heaven while Olaf is likely to get the first bit of contact here. He does. He's not going to win his duel out. It's going to be Zen and Stiko with the two big kills there for Godsent towards this B site.
Yeah, and we got this wrap as well. We haven't really seen this come into play because Godson have struggled to take the sights at times, but Crystal is coming in on the back lines. Nico's had to drop, and he's now one step further away from this flank, and Godson have just pulled the brakes. They've said, wait, we've got this player in the back line. Let's use him to good use, and FaZe are not ready for this player to be coming in. Nico's going to try and force fights. If he drops a bomb, that's massive, but Crystal does find the kill. Nico's killed by Zen in the sight, and Rain, he knows there's a player above him. He knows they're all over B, but still, this should be out of the question. Nico is going to trade and got sent fine three. It's something at the end of the first half, but is it enough? And we have arrived. And that's what happens when you do show up to places on time with the right equipment, wearing the right outfit and with the right tools. Now for FaZe Clan, that's exactly what they've done here for the side of Brokey. He showed up in a big way and almost narrowly escaping death throughout that entire first half of play here. In this best of three at the SL1 Road to Rio, Godsent, on the other hand, may want to consider something along the lines of what Astralis is looking at. Now, per sources, of course, per sources, sources. aka we don't know for sure, but there are reports that there's going to be yet another player added to this Astralis lineup. Now, that's not uh, I like five, it. that's not six, Wait, that's what? potentially seven players. And um, yeah, like, you know, we were already saying how Astralis always look to innovate. They're already innovating on the six man roster. <laughs> with, six with man? <laughs> Only yeah. six? Yeah, you know, and well, look at this. Cole Ooh. going toe to toe with a couple of players down here in the connector. We'll revisit this little Astralis conversation in due time because right now, three on three for God's sake as they have been able to keep this one even. The B site looking to be where FaZe try and end up in this round, but Stiko's flank could accomplish a hell of a lot here for the Godsent side. <sighs> Not Ooh, only... Oh, no. Oh, this is, this is all going to come down to timing. Olaf, please, please look. Please check. And he does look. He does check, but Stiko still is able to best him in the head-to-head. -head. Now for FaZe, this puts him in a bit of an awkward spot because they know that Stiko being so pushed up means there's going to be a two-man stack inside of the B-bomb site, right? There's no way that Godsent haven't not played around that information. And so they kind of have a good idea what they're probably walking into here Wait, at the B-bomb site. They've just left it. Oh, doubling back. Madam was walking CT, but he is here at the right time, and Crystal's been removed from heaven. Nico with a quick tap. Doesn't need the Kevlar. Aim punch, no worry, as Madden looks to punch their aim back again as he gets aggressive. Flash in his face, but he does avoid it, and Nico tries to escape off the site. Not going to be able to. Madden with three. Quick kills from the Montenegrin player, and Godsend are going to be up to four on the CT side. They've just saved themselves. They just saved their lifeline in this game. If that fell, if that went the way of phase, I think we're just done with the map. Something there for Godsend, because not much was going their way in the first half, and a pistol is a step in the right direction. That is their fourth round in the entire game thus far and made in the player in conversation, I guess. Now, what do we know about Maiden? He's Maiden Montenegro. He's a bit of a legend. He's a... Uh... Yeah, he's one of those upcoming players that uh, that kind of came out of nowhere and, and really shocked everyone on, it, 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 you know, the... Like, really shocked everyone with his ability, I think. You know, he's just a very, very fast player, fits into this team well. Uh, players on Godson have said good things about him as a, as a team player. I don't really know a whole lot. I don't know him personally, Trace. Maybe you have that kind of relationship, but uh, I've just seen him in the server. And I've seen him do some pretty nutty things. I do not have that relationship with Maiden. Well, that's just disappointing. Why are you saying it like you're in court? <laughs> I, I do not have any relationship with I thought about it after I said it. Maiden. It was like some, some Bill Clinton. -esque. I do not have relationships with that Maiden. player. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Anyways. Well, <laughs> things going over here toward the A-bomb site. We'll try and calm it down as now they look to uh, gain some ground inside of A, but... And not feeling good about that one. Does shut down cold, and he doesn't want to give up any ground over here at the A-bomb site. He'll actually re-aggress and set this little nerdy crossfire up with Makalele over towards the tunnels. And he's making it look a little too easy. And that's what happens. Nico. Bye-bye. Only good for one. It's Makalele mopping them up at the very, very end. Three kills for him on the SMG. That's great. That means he can bring the AWP out here into this round. And FaZe, they're not going to have one. It's just rifles across the board. It's all part of the plan for FaZe Clan. 
They've got God sent exactly where they want him. Isn't that right, Harry? Yeah, most definitely, right? Like, you know, that tends to happen when you go uh, when you go 12-3 off in the half. You struggle to feel too bad about it, even with the pistol and the conversions not going your way. Ooh. That nade doesn't really do as much damage as I thought it was going to. Especially because that was two nades yeah. throwing on in. They went deep down the stairwell. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. No, I was starting to wonder. <laughs> like, I feel like his leg's going to be showing. Yeah. And Nico, well, he kind of shows us case in point that it was showing. Man advantage now taken. A little boost assembled here. Now, this is a nice one. Bit of a vintage boost. Let's you see over into the toilets and short side. You are a little bit screwed when it comes to long while you're here. Yeah, a little bit. So you've got to rely on, like, FaZe if they do go long, making some noise, kind of giving up the, uh, the the game, as it were, in that sense, right? Like, giving up the bit of oh, sound no. over. Look at this and, rotate. Oh, dear. God Everyone's said, come up. Huh? They've all gone to A. They've had a feeling. And some feelings mm. are just feelings. Yeah, because yeah. tonight is not going to be a good night for Godsend. <laughs> or bad, might, bad night. Might very well be good night right here. We're going to see FaZe using all of this utility. And now you talk about the jig being up. It's going to be over here at the B site. Bomb out in front. Five players alive on FaZe Clan. They're going to get this bomb down without a bullet being fired. And I say that. Cole Zera fires just to spite me. And of course... Go on the retake. Olaf Meister. His eyes towards oh. connector. His wow. eyes are not in the right place. Zen. Just a save. Has at least grabbed that AK, and they are going to back away. There is no way that over or excuse me, Godsent go for this. Yeah, I, I'm confused by that rotate, right? Like, it's not like it's based off of anything. Godsent haven't seen anyone up towards A. FaZe are fully gambling outside of B, and I think that's just what Godsent wanted to do. They're like, yeah, okay, we can gamble too. We can put everyone on the right bomb site. Uh, well, it was the wrong bomb site. That's a bit of a shame. Crystal's done enough damage to kill these players with the bomb. Rain is not getting out of there alive, and neither will Brokey either. So good damage by Godsent as they hold on to their guns. But, you know, this kind of scoreline, 13-5, you could argue two things. You could argue... Oh, that's the perfect time to do gamble stacks because we got nothing to lose. We're almost, we're almost out of this game. But the way I look at it, well, you're 13 or 12 5 down. You know, you, you have a viable round. You have a 4 and 4. And then you basically just 50 50 your round, you know, on, on do they push into us without checking anything. And they don't. Faze just hit B. And if Godsend stacked B, that 50 50 would have been in their favor. But, you know, half the time it isn't, Harry. That's about odds. That's numbers for you. Yeah, that, that actually. <laughs> Yeah, I've checked that one. You go yeah, the battle. Check out. 50-50. Oh. That is half. Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh, man. Almost Naden himself has to get out of connector. And they've conceded this territory now. FaZe already getting players out over here towards short side. Olaf might get rewarded for this little bit of aggression in a moment's time. The rest of FaZe, they've peeled away. They've left B. They've left Olaf to sit here alone and hold down the fort while the rest of the team go back. And look to take some mid control. Now, the one downside for this for FaZe is they've seen Godsent in the past. You think about that pistol round from Stiko. They've seen that Godsent do aggress over here towards the mid area. So they've got to be very, very slow and methodical as they creep on up. They're checking everything. They're very aware. No one from Godsent has pushed up, though. So it serves as nothing more than a bit of time taken away from the FaZe Clan squad. And now that they've got mid, they try and get out. Makalele is holding this from the short side. Problem he's going to have is that Madden, the other guy up inside of A, isn't watching long. And so you see Makalele reposition. That's because he was having to like look on a timing between short and long while being open to short side. So Ooh, he plays passively no. back in the bomb site. Crystal had pushed through connector and started to flank B. Now that's delayed the speed of this flank and he might arrive a little too late to the party. You see this fight going down between Olaf and Crystal and now they know there's a man on the wrap. Plant found over here at the A bomb site. A man advantage for God sent in the retake. Ooh. And the decision to delay this bomb plant, it almost could have cost FaZe, but Cold Zera somehow turns it into their favor, catches both of these players 
as they're trying to deal with Brokey on the bomb, and no one can deal with Brokey on the bomb. Olaf coming in on this wrap does deal with Crystal, and this leaves Stiko in a very hot seat indeed. 1v2 to find, time ticking away, and Nico puts him in the grave. 14 on the board for FaZe. That's an excellent round from Cold and Olaf, right? Like, the, the two things that happens there, firstly, Cold uh, tucks truck with the smoke. That's a cool execute from FaZe. They, they smoked off everything, got a ton of no info. FaZe tapped the bomb, Brokey gets grenaded. Cold, he, he plays a smoke, and he just plays the fade, and no one's watching it as it fades. He gets away with two kills on that position, and, and Brokey gets off the bomb as he gets grenaded, but still gets back on, and Cold covers him. Olaf as well spots Crystal on the flank ages ago, but he doesn't take that fight, even though Crystal's not favored with the UMP. Olaf just runs away and stalls out the kill. He makes Godsend waste even more time on the retake, and, well, that was just never going to happen for them. 14-5, the boost up again towards Connector. Madden sees legs, but already they've scarpered away. Olaf might come back into it, though. And there's the kill, but there is a player right below them to capitalize. Rain's going to try and trade. He can't do it. Crystal keeps connected for Godsend and holds a five on three. Nico's caught a very good timing here, though, and is in mm. the B-bomb site. No one from Godsend is here to contend. Aside from these short players, and they actually come back at the perfect timing to deal with Nico. I was going to say, there's a chance that he could have found something there. If he wrapped into short, maybe he could have caught them by surprise. But thankfully, Zen, very, very aware that that was a possibility. And so now for FaZe, just two players left. And a flawless round on the horizon for Godsent as they look to put a sixth on the board here. Yeah, one by one, they are just feeding the beast. Not going to be an easy 1v5 for Brokey by any stretch no. of the imagination, especially not now that they know where he is. And with 30 seconds left, might just look to try and save. There's players all around him, though. He's even getting flanked by Makalele. And yeah, double peaked, dealt with, traded, and a sixth on the board for the godsend side. Yeah, Godson are really going to have to start to take off with this one. If they want to have a chance at grabbing their own map pick. Nuke is next. That's the pick of phase. And then we go to Dust 2 should we need to. But just two rounds stand between phase clan and getting overpass over with. And moving us to the yards of Nuke. They're picking the series. One that has been very good for Godson, as we've highlighted. So... Still has potential for a longer series, a longer affair, but Overpass certainly is looking like maybe it'll be over fast if God sent don't build into this game here and now. This is a round to do so, though. FaZe have forced somewhat. Pistols, armor, hero AK dropped by Nico into the hands of Rain. And a bit of interesting information as well um, from, from Rain, as he gave us in the interview, was like how, how Yanko doesn't really like to talk over Nico or anything of the likes, right? In Godsend, it's quite the opposite. We hear from Stiko that there's almost like a like a hierarchy of in-game leaders. And if Devil Walks says something, well, Godsend do it. And, and that's a good way of, of going about, but interesting to see how FaZe is the complete opposite. Also nice to see FaZe respecting their in-game leader, bin some time. But uh, yeah, Nico at least leading by example in this round. Giving the gun over, and FaZe is going to hit the B-bomb site. Yeah, here they go. Not many guns to play with. Stiko is going to be flashed, and they're already, already on top of him. Stiko's good for one. Olaf with the trade with the Technina. And they're going to continue to fly in here with these oh, pistols. No. Finding success. This has been a disaster for hold from Godsent. And now just Makalele uh, stands by himself. And all his lays. I suppose those could be around, too. Oh, Drop this Molotov here. Has an idea that Cold Zero could be playing close, and he was right. Snips him out, and takes him down with the ump. Now, just two v one. He was on the head there. And of course, yeah, it doesn't go the way of Godsend. Somehow, some way, the pistols get it done at four phase, and now they sit on map point here on the map pick of Godsend. Looking to make this one a fast one. Oh, the phase boys now. There is going to be an investment on the cards for God's sake. It's not going to be great. And that's not what you want to hear when you're up against 15 trying to begin your nine round comeback on the other side. You look at the buy and it is dismal. Makalele with an org, an MP9 on Zen. 
And Adam just picked two random weapons there. Those are the best they've got in this round. Yeah, another so, B rush. Yeah, just all in for B. Phase, they know the money isn't going to be there. They know they can overwhelm Ooh. this Godset okay. defense. They did it before with less, and now they've got even more. They mop this one up. And this might be a done deal. Makalele and Madden left in a two on five clutch to try and deny the victory to FaZe. I mean, if you can do more with less, you certainly can do more with more. And FaZe have shown us how. God sent, I mean, they've got to go for it, but really not holding out for this one. Brokey's weighing. He looks to make his KD just that little bit better. Flashed in by the likes of FaZe as they look to set up Brokey with one. There's another man around the corner. Madden is so low. Brokey, give it to us. He's done it. It's closed. It's gone. It's over.